and this will be uh, the smart toilet of the future. And it's just one of the smart inventions designed by University of Louisville engineering students and showcased for the public. We want the community to see our product. As a, a speed school, our product is our students and how well we train them to do real engineering design. The name of our product is the IntelliToilet Smart Toilet Integrated Weight and pH Sensor. It's a toilet for in-home use that can measure the pH in a patient's urine, detecting potential health issues. It makes it easier for healthcare professionals to monitor their patients without the patients having to come in for a regular checkup. Distribution Matthew Elmlinger's group designed the Fast Bus Protection System, a way for LG&E or other electric companies to more quickly identify problems with a transformer or relay station. So this is a big deal to um, the, the utility customer because this is the difference between having your power um, left on if the fault were to be on another distribution line um, in a neighborhood next to you. Um, because without the system, if the fault were to trip the entire substation, no matter where you are, you're losing your power. Another group of speed school seniors developed sensor sensitive glass for a bathroom shower door. And essentially what it does is whenever someone steps into our shower, we want their privacy to be concealed. So what this glass does is it whenever someone steps into the shower, our infrared sensor picks up their motion and turns the glass opaque and no one else has ever invented something like this. That's why one of the world's largest manufacturers of shower doors is interested in the Louisville students' invention. They're not alone. Most of the prototypes developed by these speed school students will wind up with companies interested in using or selling them. It tells them that our students are ready to produce from day one. And you actually have to think outside of just your discipline. Like we had to do a lot of mechanical engineering and a little bit of computer. So this really helped integrate it all and give a better picture of how everything we've learned in school can actually be applied to the real world. 